Over the years, the light heavyweight division has produced some of the biggest stars and most iconic moments the UFC has ever seen. From Hall of Famers like Chuck Liddell and Forrest Griffin, who helped popularize the sport early on, to the feel-good story of current champion Glover Teixeira. For his take on the history of this decorated division, we locked in former title challenger Anthony Smith. The light heavyweight division is the division that, that really brought me into the sport. It was the sweetheart division. It was the one that everybody loved. That's the baddest dude on the planet. I think without the light heavyweight division, I'm not sure that the UFC makes it to where it is now, to mainstream. Oh, what a finish! What, what a finish! The division has been so popular because of the type of athletes that come into that division, and it's brought nothing but excitement over the years. Your Rampages, your Chuck Liddell's, your, your Shamrocks, Tito Ortiz, those guys are, are responsible for bringing a lot of fans to the sport. Chuck Liddell really resonated with fans because he seemed like a good old boy. And I think he really just captivated people because Chuck Liddell seems like the type of guy you could have a beer with. And then I think his rivalry with Tito really drug people in. Oh, bro, you won't step in the ring with me again, you know that. I let him step in the ring again, that ain't a problem at all. I'll knock you out again. And you can really tune into that rivalry and pick a side, essentially. And it is all over! Chuck Liddell remains the light heavyweight champion! When the light heavyweight belt was kind of playing a game of popcorn, it's just whoever could hold on to it. I think those were some of the best times. You know, you get guys like Rashad Evans and Leona Machida and Shogun. It was bouncing around, and Forrest Griffin had it, and Rampage had it, and to even defend at one time. It was all anyone could do. Once John Jones came into the division, things changed. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the future. I think John Jones was the first of a new generation of fighter. John brought a different style, he brought a different approach, he brought a different physicality to the octagon that no one had at the time. John Jones versus Alexander Gustafson is absolutely, in my opinion, the greatest fight of all time. What we're seeing in John Jones is a very, very special athlete. And there is a record on the line tonight, and that is the record for consecutive title defenses in the light heavyweight division. We knew that John was good. We knew that he was technically the best fighter in the world. But we weren't so sure if John had that fighting spirit deep down inside of him to, to really fight back from adversity and be in a dogfight and win it. Oh, big combination by Gustafson. Goes oh. high. And kick. This is a very competitive fight. Unbelievable. They are on their feet. Unbelievable. What a fight. That might be the greatest title fight in the oh. history of the light heavyweight division. Shit. That was the first time that John had been pushed and had to find that dog inside of him and really pull it out. The John Jones-Daniel Cormier rivalry is, is one of my favorite ones. Those guys genuinely hate each other. It was very personal for them. They did go to some dark places with each other. Uh, you got your ass whipped today, buddy. No, I didn't. You're a Oh, yeah, you did it. Yeah, I You're such back. a little Oh my God. Back. On top of that, they were the two best guys, not just in the division, but probably in the world. I mean, these are easily the two best light heavyweights of all time. And here they are tonight as our main event. I think that that probably doesn't happen very often where the number one and number two pound for pound guys are in the same division. The bad blood just continued to boil. Look at this. Oh! Perhaps maybe all the bad blood has not boiled over. All this crap he talks, it motivated me. I'm sorry that I'm being classless right now. I do not like DC, and this is why I'm being this way. It was based off of competitiveness. It sucked me in, and I know that it sucked in the rest of the world. I think DC is ah! so motivated for this fight. Daniel Cormier has a chance to silence all the doubters, all the haters, put it down, and stick it in John Jones' face. The wait is over. John Jones is back to take on one of his chief rivals, Daniel Cormier. Oh, John landed a high kick. He's hurt. DC was stunned by that head kick. That could be it. Trying to survive. That's it. He's out. Is it. John Jones has done it. 
A valiant effort, but a patient John Jones closes the show. Credit does need to go to John for deciding to move up to heavyweight and deciding to push himself. With John Jones out of the division, I think it gives a lot of people opportunities to be world champions, to show how great they are. a massive opportunity tonight. Oh! Oh, oh he heard him. Glover's into the mount here. Well, oh, oh, my God! Oh, back. oh, my God! Oh, there's oh. the count! Glover oh. Teixeira breaks through at 42! Wow! He's the undisputed light heavyweight oh. champion! <laughs> he actually did it! Teixeira! Light heavyweight is a cool division to be a part of right now. There's a lot of young talent. There's a lot of up-and-comers. And the fun part for me is there's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of guys that we're not sure how good they are. Oh! What a fucking knockout for Akalayo! Wow! Oh, there it is! Yuri Prohaska! Baby boy! Welcome to the big show! I'm really excited about the future of this division.